Shant Dao said, everyone busily engaged in worldly matters takes no notice of their lives wearing away day and night. Like lamps in the wind, how long can they last? In the vast realms of samsara there is no place to rest. Until we are released from the sea of suffering, how can we feel at peace? Should we not be afraid? Let us seek the path to eternity. Impermanence rushes upon us in every moment. Mara follows at every step. Practitioners of the way let's strive diligently to attain Nirvana. Lives wasted in idleness are like plants without roots or cut flowers placed in the sun. How long can they remain fresh? Our lives are like this. Impermanence can seize us at any moment. So with urgency, let's attain the truth. Everyone busily engaged in worldly matters takes no notice of their lives wearing away day and night. We could even say, because we don't want to see our lives wearing away day and night. We make sure that we're busily engaged in worldly matters. Let's run from the truth of impermanence rather than face it. Although, as I move into middle age, the wearing away of life day and night becomes a little more obvious as I wake up each morning with something aching or notice my receding hairline in the mirror or a line in my face that used to fade away not long after waking remaining for a little longer and a little longer and oh I guess that's just my face now like lamps in the wind how long can they last? Like an oil lamp, I guess, which we don't tend to use so much now. Or it makes me think of little candles. When we hold vigils here, we have tea lights in glass jars, in jam jars. Vigils for the earth or for welcoming refugees. Or a few months ago, holding vigil when Ukraine was invaded and the jar protects the candle a little bit and then a strong wind comes and even the lights in the jars are blown out and we do we place our, the light of our lives in jars I suppose you know it's good to eat the right things to look after our bodies and our minds and yet at some point the wind will come and blow the light out lives wear wear away day and night how can we feel at peace let us seek the path to eternity there is something other than this impermanence there is something other than this wearing away going on here Maybe we can look to that. Impermanence rushes upon us in every moment. Mara follows our every step. Mara, the king of death. Not just the king of the death of forms of our bodies and the bodies of those we love dying, but also the death of eternity, the death of our spiritual life, Mara sending temptation, Mara sending their armies, Mara sending confusion. So not only is the world unreliable, our own minds are unreliable. If we can't trust those thoughts, what can we trust? Strive diligently to attain Nirvana. There is something 
There is something that isn't greed, ill will and ignorance. There is something beyond the impermanence of the world around us. Or something as well as the impermanence. Something as well as our untrustworthy minds. Lives wasted in idleness are like plants without roots or cut flowers placed in the sun. How long can they remain fresh? Our lives are like this. I kind of know, I kind of have a sense of the feeling here of being a plant without roots sometimes. I guess that makes me think of ancestral roots, spiritual ancestral roots being cut off from something nourishing, not quite knowing where you are, a bit of confusion. And how, when I'm taken away from the Buddha, when I'm taken away from eternity and, and feed myself other things or distract myself in different ways, or just get busy with worldly matters, Something in me starts to feel a bit withered, like a plant that's been cut from its roots and left out in the sun, or cut flowers placed in the sun. Something starts to dry out. The liveliness disappears. The joy starts to fade. Our lives are like this. This is what we do to ourselves. This is what the world does to us if we're not careful. And impermanence can seize us at any moment. Because that's the other thing that happens if you take the roots off plants or leave flowers in the sun. They die. So here again a warning. You might not have very long. Look for eternity now while there's still time. Seek the truth now while there's still time. And what is eternity? What is Nirvana? It is the place where we feel peace, where there's no fear, where we can rest. It is the Buddha's light coming towards us. It is the pure land, which is a field of love that we can relax into. It is trusting that there is something other than all of this impermanence and greed and ill will and ignorance that is loving and kind and receives us just as we are. And sometimes striving is absolutely the thing that, we've, that we need to do, that we feel like we need to do. We see how our life is being lost in worldly matters and we want to change something. So we set a target and head towards the Dharma. And what we find when we get there is that we can relax. And in that place of eternity, there's no need to strive. There's no need for urgency. And I wonder if it's possible to trust that that is true even in the midst of worldly matters.